Welcome to Body Ecology Bites, little bits of information that makes health and healing more digestible. I'm Donna Gates. And I'm Roxanne Bachman. Today I'm talking about Livermint. It is spring right now, as we're well into spring. Actually, spring starts around February 4th. As far as our body's concerned, as far as our liver's concerned, the winter's over and our body's getting ready to move into spring. So we're well into spring. As we move into hotter weather, we're supposed to not be having so much saturated fat. I don't care what diet you're on. Fat is better in the winter time. We need to keep warm. Fat is not good in the summer and then through the hot months uh, when we need to have a lighter body and it's not good for the liver. So spring is the liver gallbladder season of the year. If you study Chinese medicine, you would have heard that, of course. And Livament is for the liver and gallbladder. Uh, the livament increases bile flow. Now, the liver breaks apart the toxins and it, in phase one and then in phase two, it's putting substances like glutathione onto those toxins to make them heavier. And in the meantime, it's making bile and it's putting the toxins in the bile so that they can leave. They get stored in the gallbladder until we eat. And then that bile drops down into the small intestine and it, it does important things. The most important thing it probably does, two most important things it probably does is digest the fats, breaks them down into fatty acids, which by the way is the only reason we eat fats is to get the fatty acids. So the bile does, breaks down the fatty acid and bile increases parasitic movement. So you're going to be able to get rid of that food that you've eaten in that meal because the parasitic movement now is stimulated and it's going to be moving through the rest of the small intestine and then out through the colon. Here's why Livermint worked because Livermint is outstanding for increasing bile flow. It has four uh, ingredients. It has um, milk thistle, which is very well known for centuries. People have used milk thistle for the liver and for increasing bile flow. It has two more herbs, sarsaparilla and artichoke. They're all extracts, by the way, so they're super concentrated uh, versions of these herbs, and they, um, they also increase bile flow considerably. So again, it helps detoxify that liver. It helps the liver be able to get rid of its toxins. The fourth ingredient is wasabi. I'm sure if you've eaten in a Japanese restaurant, you've seen this little tiny pile of green stuff on the plate. That, and, and then also using the Japanese restaurants, they'll put shredded daikon on the plate as well. The wasabi and the daikon both help uh, you digest fats. And, and you know, a lot of people will go into a Japanese restaurant and eat tempura, so they'll always put this on the plate with tempura. We put the four uh, together in this amazing product. Uh, I'm pretty proud of the products that we make at Body Ecology, but I think with spring, this is the time for you to take liver mint. You take it with your meal, three capsules, three times a day is ideal. Many people are chronically constipated. And this is one of the reasons why, why they're not making enough bile. I mean, there's other reasons for constipation like stress and travel so their sleep is off and um, having the wrong kind of microbes in your gut. There's different reasons for constipation, but this is a very, very common reason. So if you really are chronically constipated, three capsules, three times a day will really make a difference. You should notice a difference in a week or 10 days that you're eliminating better. But now with the spring, you definitely wanna be working on your liver. Most of us kind of have a chronically congested liver. So it's not something you just do for the spring, it's something to do all the time. Happy detoxing. Thank you very much. I hope you have a wonderful, happy day.